What is up, Collider TV Talk fans? That's right. It's here, the moment you've all been waiting for. It's the Golden Remotes. It's our Emmys mixed with the Golden Globes, mixed with the Oscars, mixed with MTV Movie Awards, but with TV. It's every award show wrapped into one because we are the show that wants to do it for you guys. I just painted that remote. My hands are sticky with gold paint. All right. Sinead DeFries is here as well. Sinead, you look gorgeous as always. Thank you. I mean, it's very rare that you'll find me wearing pink. Oh. So it must be the golden remote. That, that is 100% correct. <laughs> and always dapper, David Griffin is here as well. I, I feel a little bad. So if you watch the last few videos, you're going to notice, baby. David, like... You gotta wear the same outfit every day. Like Josh and Sinead took time, you know, go shopping, make sure they look good. I kind of stayed the same, but I'm here. This is the the best, the biggest award show there is on television. Forget the Golden Globes, forget the Oscars. Welcome to the Golden Remotes. That's right. Your host, as always, Jimmy Fallon. We couldn't get him, so you got Josh McCuga. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, Sasha Pearl Raver couldn't be with us again. Uh, we we miss her terribly, but she contributed deeply to the Golden Remotes. Also contributing to the Golden Remotes, a special thanks to Allison Keene, head TV writer on Collider.com. So go check out her work. Amazing, amazing girl. She put in some great suggestions here. And uh, Roxy Stryer. You know her from TV Fights on Screen Junkies. You know her from After Buzz. And she's been a guest co-host here on TV Talk as well as our Emmy special. So five people took part in the Golden Remotes. Now, what you may be asking yourself is, why didn't you put this out on Twitter for the fans to vote? We thought about it. We really wanted to do it. But we had so many nominees, and we didn't want to argue between us to take like 12 nominees down to four, and you can only do so much on the poll. So we just voted between us. We have seven categories to go through. And the, finally, the, the eighth category is the Bronze Book, and that is the worst new show of 2016. Looking forward to that. How we'll start this out, Sinead, uh, we're going to go, we're going to start out with the most valuable performance of the year 2016. We're going to list all of the nominees, talk briefly about them, and then we will give you our winner. How the voting works is everybody got 10 votes per category, and you separated your 10 votes however you wanted to separate them. So let's just say for my MVP of the year, I put five points on Tatiana Maslany for Orphan Black. Nobody else voted for her, but... I spread out my other five votes amongst the uh, crowd here on the most valuable performance. Okay, let's start. Uh, we have Courtney B. Vance in The People vs. O.J. Simpson. We have Sarah Paulson, People vs. O.J. Simpson. Lena Headey, Game of Thrones. Peter Dinklage, Game of Thrones. Sterling K. Brown, People vs. O.J. Simpson, and This Is Us. Killian Murphy, Peaky Blinders. Dan Fogelman, uh, This Is Us and Pitch, and Pitch, even though he's not an actor, he is a producer <laughs> and a writer. So, uh, Sinead, you take the next couple. All right, Aiden Young for Rectify. Tatiana Maslany for Orphan Black. Lee Pace for Halt and Catch Fire. Evan Rachel Wood for Westworld. Tandy Newton for Westworld. Um, Rami Malek for Mr. Robot. And uh, David, why don't you round us out here? Jeffrey Dean Morgan for The Walking Dead, Sarah Lancashire for Happy Valley, Carrie Russell for The Americans, Vera Farmiga, Bates Motel, Bob Odenkirk, Better Call Saul, Brian Tyree Henry, Atlanta, and, he and Hug Dancy, no, <laughs> Hugh Dancy for The Path. Okay, so obviously a ton of a ton of options here. Very uh, good choices. Yeah, and how we broke it down, we didn't want to do best actor, best actress, because I think... I don't really think that there's a difference between an actor and an actress. I think that they, they are so valuable both in their performance. So why not have them compete against one another? Uh, and I think that we picked the right winner. Was there somebody in, in here that you really wanted to win that didn't win, Sinead? Because we we're, we're going to save the winner here for, for a second. But um, No, I mean, I'm, I'm thrilled with all of, like, most of these. And I'm, I'm, even though my heart wasn't in the winner, mm -hmm. I'm still, I feel like this person is extremely deserving of the MVP Golden Remote. David Griffin, anybody else on here? I have a few. Uh, one of them is Aiden Young. Yeah. On uh, Rectify. Uh, Rectify. Um, I put in three votes for Aiden Young. I put in yeah, three votes sure as well. Uh, and Allison put in one. It, what's, what's hard is because I don't think he's, he's ever going to win. I mean, he's in, it's in his final season. The show's not big enough to garner that much attention where it's going to win. It's too bad. Uh, he's not going to get the Golden Remote. Uh, also, uh, Sarah Lancashire. Happy Valley, Josh. You know you've watched seen Happy Valley. I do it's love an Happy excellent Valley. show. It's on Netflix right now. If you want to catch up, she's so good in it. Again, yeah. I think she's been nominated for some BAFTAs and things like that, but she's probably not going to win the Emmy because the yeah. show again it's not that big enough for you right. over here. But excellent show. I think a breakout star 
one hundred percent was Brian <laughs> Tyree Henry from Atlanta. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. just a, a unbelievable performance. Sarah Paulson in People vs. O.J. Simpson was really incredible for me. Tatiana Maslany is the most valuable performance hands down. But I was the only one that voted for, it, and I put five votes, like I said before, in for it. But our winner. MVP of the Golden Remotes, Sterling K. Brown, People vs. O.J. Simpson, and this is us. Congratulations, Sterling K. Brown. You take home the Golden Remote. We only have one, so we'll be. Uh, we'll have to make you another one and ship it out to you. You can you can uh, DM me. Hopefully, we'll the paint dry on this one. <laughs> yeah, we'll look, paint look out for it. It's, it's coming in. There the you go. Okay, our next category. Uh, we're going with the most memorable episode of television. Hmm. Now, what I think was was difficult about this was there was a, there was a clear clear winner in this but there were so many great episodes of obviously tv out there uh but clearly the the runaway winner was our choice but let's break them down Sinead why don't you start all right we have battle of the bastards game of thrones winds of winter game of thrones the door game of thrones <laughs> the pilot episode of this is us um, Marsha, Marsha, Marsha uh, from People vs. OJ. Um, do you want me to keep going? No, I'll take it. Uh, we got uh, BAN from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. We have Black Mirror, San Junipero. Uh, the Magic of David Copperfield versus Statue of Liberty disappears. The Americans. David, why don't you take the last three? Uh, Veep, Kissing Your Sister. Dave Chappelle host SNL. And the Beach premiere. Oh, the beach premiere of the show, The Night of. So a good range of, of shows in there. Obviously, a lot of Game of Thrones because mm-hmm. they had, did have some unbelievably memorable TV this year. Do you? I, I know that we put San Junipero in there. That was my favorite Black Mirror episode. Was that your favorite Black Mirror episode? I didn't watch Black Mirror. Sorry. Yeah, I thought you did. Not bad on that <laughs> I one. started to. Way to go, host Makuga. You, uh, you should have gone to David Griffin first. Wait, was San Junipero San your favorite? San was my favorite episode. Okay. Mine too. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was so, so good. Yeah, and uh, uh, what's uh, Mackenzie... Davis, mm-hmm. that's the last name. And Gugu and Batha Raw. Yeah. It's very good. Awesome. Uh, great episode. And Mackenzie Davis is incredible in Halt and Catch Fire. And I feel like uh, Black Mirror always has this stigma. It's like, it's very, like, I don't know, comedically dark. Yeah. Like, there's a really dark, twisted nature to it. The writer says that he laughs when he's writing these episodes. I don't know how he laughs. But this show was actually kind of hopeful. Yeah. It was kind of a nice nice ending, mm-hmm. happy ending. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, obviously some of these episodes that, that didn't win, I I voted for Ban, uh, yeah, B-A-N, a in Atlanta. And the premiere of This Is Us, too. Yeah. One of the best pilots. You'll ever see. Remember yes. we, we were talking in the 2016 year in review about Atlanta, uh, maybe one of my f- mm-hmm. second favorite pilots of the year. First favorite pilot, by far, yeah. This Is Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, too, you got to talk about Night Of. Yes. Yeah. Great show. Uh, again, another great discussion to- discussion topic for us over the f- a few weeks that it was on. Another deliberately Ex- paced episode. Another deliberately show. paced show, and also breakout star uh, Riz Ahmed, yes. mm-hmm. who is... Obviously going to be in Rogue One. That's out right now, and he did that, so he's a new breakout star. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, just some great, great. Picking TV. an episode, a single episode, that is very yeah. difficult. Yeah. So your most memorable episode, all of us voted for it. Battle of the Bastards, Game of Thrones. Congratulations, the war. Jon Snow taking finally. We finally get to see the death. Uh, spoiler? Do we spoiler alert the <laughs> golden remotes? Do we spoil- Thank you. We'll spoiler. We finally get to see the death of. Friggin' Ramsey Bolton, the worst dude on TV this year. We didn't have that category, worst dude on TV, because he would have won hands down. Game of Thrones just keeps pumping out these awesome villains. Yeah. You yeah. know, Tywin Lannister, Ramsey Bolton. Yeah. Yeah, so good. We're getting more. We, we have 13 more episodes. Oh, yeah. It's coming. Yeah. yeah it's it's coming. coming. The winner has come, and it's, it's rain and snow. All right. Now, our next category, we have best new show of 2016. Now, again, this, the, the clear of far winner uh, took it away. I, I will say, mm. I thought that we had some amazing new shows this year. Mm-hmm. Stranger Things. Uh, or we should, let's, let's run through the, the <laughs> nominees. I'm an idiot. Okay, let's go. Best new show, Sinead, start it off. All right, we have Atlanta, The Night Of, People vs. OJ, Westworld, um, and Stranger Things. Yep. We have uh, This Is Us, Speechless, The Crown, The Expanse, Last Chance You, David. We also have Victoria, Fleabag, Vice Principals, and The Path. And I forgot, I wanted to nominate, and I totally forgot to put Pitch on here. Oh, but yeah. I'm going to put oh, Pitch yeah. in as a last second nominee, even though it didn't get any votes. I, I love that show. Again, clear, clear in a way, a winner just running away with it. But I, I personally, when you look at this list, 
We've, we've talked about all of these shows yeah. on here, except for Victoria. I don't know how that snuck in there. Yeah, Dave I Griffin. don't even know what that Great one is. I, hey, I, you know, that's that's a show. <laughs> hey, I have, Sounds British. We, we all <laughs> contributed. That was my contribution was Victoria. You uh, contributed as a nominee and then did you not didn't vote, vote for it. For it. <laughs> That's the crazy part. I didn't yep. vote for it. I'm yes. sorry. I'm yes. sorry. Uh, the the <laughs> I, I, I if I could vote if I could have 20 votes no. I would still put a bunch in this but I, the night of was maybe the the biggest surprise for me of how because. I don't know Atlanta too, but the night of is was such a, a kind of a game changing show that it was it felt like it came in the night and gone in right. the night, yeah. right? It, it, it just happened so fast, and then it was out of our out of our conversation. But yeah. when you think about it and how how much we were into the night of, I mean, we were doing a review every week here on TV mm-hmm. Talk. That show was just absolutely fantastic. I hope Totoro wins something. It's tough. I mean, I had shows too, like The Expanse, I think yeah. is the, the best sci-fi series on right now. I, I'd even put The Expanse above Westworld. I'm sorry. I, I, I loved Westworld. I like The Expanse even more. Uh, also, I put uh, The Crown. Yeah. Uh, awesome series. Uh, but it was just really well done. I don't know if it maybe it's deserving to win it all, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it was just really well done. Great yeah. acting, great sets, excellent pr- production value. But, you know, I mean, there's just too many shows I also right put now. one vote in. Um, into Last Chance You too. Yeah. Yeah. I actually like kind of forgot Miss about Wagner. that show yep. until we were going through these. Yeah. And man, that show I loved it. it was yeah. like it was so binge worthy and just like really moved me a lot. It just yeah. shows how good television is right now. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I put I think I actually entered Last Chance You in there. I put and in Victoria. Also didn't vote for I it. didn't vote for it because I was looking at this list. I'm like, oh wait, but there was that show yes, too. I forgot. So yeah, there's so many. That was a good year. Yeah. 2016. I got to tell you, uh, I think, and we the it. Like, if you guys watched our year in review last week, you would have seen mm-hmm. that uh, we put in uh, Ever Atlanta, made all of our lists of our top comedies of 2016, brand new show, and no shocker, the runaway winner, Atlanta, best new show, 2016, Golden Remote winner, Donald Glover and crew, Brian come Tyree on up, Henry. Donald Glover, come it's on fantastic. up. fantastic. Yeah, come on up and get your Golden Remote. It's still a little wet because oh, I just wait, they're saying it. He, he's not here? Oh, okay, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll accept we'll, it for him. Yeah, we'll, we'll accept, accept it, it for half. Yeah. We will, you know, yeah. we'll yeah. see yeah. him later. <laughs> It'll be a whole thing. We'll see you at the after party, yeah. Uh, yeah. Donald Glover. <laughs> okay, let's go into one of our, our special categories here. Character you'd most like to be friends with. I, I, I think I, I would be friends with a lot of these people. A lot of these people I probably wouldn't be friends with, but they all seem to entertain the hell out of us. Uh, Sinead, why don't you take it? Sure. All right. So we have Nick Miller from New Girl, mm-hmm. John Oliver from Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, Eleven from Stranger Things, Tommy Shelby from Peaky Blinders, Selena Meyer from Veep, Ehrlich Bachman's Silicon Valley, Supergirl, Supergirl, <laughs> Frankie from Grace and Frankie, Claire Temple, Daredevil, obviously Luke Cage as well, Rolo, Vikings. We also have Kim Wexler from Better Call Saul, Ooh. Waverly Earp from Winona Earp on, <laughs> on Siffy there, Evelyn from Pitch, Dr. Dwight Ennis from the wonderful series of Poldark, Allison, shout out girl, you and I have the same taste, mm. uh, Robbie Reyes, Ghost Rider from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and Paperboy from Atlanta. Now... This was the voting on this was really spread out. We we were all over the place. Oh, this is a yeah. hard category. This was this was a tough one. Obviously, we Sinead, obviously have different tastes. We do. And obviously, like I, I like some of these characters, but I don't want to be friends yeah. with them. Like for yeah. me, like a Tommy Shelby, I like Tommy Shelby. I love Killing Murphy's portrayal of him, mm-hmm. but he seems like he'd probably get me into some trouble. Right. Yeah. I might end up dead. I. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's or in jail. A, or in jail. That's yeah. a good Melter. way to think about it, though, yeah. right? Yeah. But there's, you know, for me, the reason I put in Tommy Shelby as as a thing, but then didn't vote for him, classic <laughs> David <laughs> David Griffin style, was the same thing. I was like, I'd like to be friends with him. I'd most likely end up but dead. I'm but scared. for one, yeah. But for one night, like drinking at the Garrison yeah. with the Shelbys and you know the Peaky Blinders would be a hell of a good time. I'll tell you what, just just drinking tons of shot of Irish mm-hmm. whiskey. But you wouldn't and, actually step outside the bar. No, with them. no, 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 definitely no. not. Uh, you know, a lot of votes for for Supergirl. We had a lot of votes for uh, uh, Claire Temple. I I wanted to vote Nick Miller. So I'm more. I just love him so much. I, I think, know. Do you I think mean, he's far and away the best person to be friends with on New oh, Girl? Ah, uh, yes. I. Oh man, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I love him so much. I love that character. I know. I mean, we both put a couple votes in there, but 
when you I put most of my votes into Robbie Reyes and Ghost Rider. Yeah. Because I felt like, sure, I could get into some trouble, but he he's also back. badass and he could save my life. Yep. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's the best of both worlds. Tough There's some love for Claire Temple. Yeah. Daredevil. You know, yeah. holding the Marvel Television Universe and together. And Luke Cage. And Luke Cage. Going to be on Iron Fist. She's always there for and you. Yeah. And she always. can heal you. She can she's fix you. She's very comforting. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's always, like, very handsy. You know? Oh, yeah. She can put her hands on my shoulders, my back. My body. Uh, <laughs> that, just, just my hand. Just, just, just my back hand. and my shoulders. My, that's I, that's I, it. I'm, I'm happily fiancéd. Uh, we, uh, uh, Claire, do you, did I ever tell the story about my staring contest with Rosario Dawson on here? Did I ever tell you that? Mm-hmm. I was doing a junket for that movie, uh, Shattered or something, the Danny Boyle movie that she was in. And we were at one of those round tables and everybody's asking really intelligent questions. And they're like, all right, you have one minute. And I just look at her, I was like, do you want to have a staring contest for 30 seconds? She's like, sure. And we had a staring contest while every other person at the press <laughs> junket table just looked. I was like, all right, cool. No winner? Great. Thanks for uh, being here. <laughs> and then she left the room. That's <laughs> amazing. Yeah, it was like one of the better moments. I walked out and I called Christian Harloff because I was doing the interviews for Schmoes. And he's like, did you get an interview with uh, Rosario Dawson? I was like, no, we just had a staring contest. Like, oh, that's great. Good, good work. I'm like, all right. My bad on that. Right? <laughs> awesome. Okay. So our winner today on character you'd most like to be friends with, another win for Atlanta, Paperboy. He's a rapper. He loves his wings. He is always seems like he's just having a good time, doesn't he? And when he's not having a good time, he tells you why he's not having a good time. Right. He just, he's a real guy. I really enjoyed Paperboy. Yeah. Yeah. Brian Tyree Henry it, again. It, what's impressive is Brian, Brian Tyree Henry is nothing like his character. The guy went right. to Yale, like you know, grads. <laughs> like he's a super. He's just such a different guy. And he's such a good actor. I'm, yeah. I'm happy for him. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to our next category, which is character you'd most like to marry. Put a ring on it. If you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Uh, there's a there's this runs the gamut of people that you would like to marry. Uh, David, why don't we start with you? <laughs> reading off the nominees here. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see this first part of the. That's all uh, you. I wonder who entered these in. Okay, we have Queen Elizabeth from The Crown, <laughs> Princess Margaret from The Crown, <laughs> Fleabag, Fleabag, Jane, Jane the Virgin, Tandy, uh, Phil Miller, Last Man on Earth. Uh, you've also got Khaleesi, Game of Thrones. You have Selena Meyer, Veep. Uh, you have Super Donk, Tyler Hecklin, <laughs> Supergirl, uh, Jamie, Sam Hewen, Outlander. Uh, Claire Randall um, from Outlander. Is that Lagertha? Lagertha. Lagertha. Yeah. <laughs> from Vikings. Luke Cage from Luke Cage. And uh, Sydney Chambers, uh, Grant Chester. That was an Allison Keene edition. And none of us. I also loves her British shows. Do you like Grant Chester? Grant Chester's a good show. <laughs> See, like this. I never heard of <laughs> Grant Chester. Is she in Atlanta or yeah, something? Yeah, she lives in Atlanta. Who, who is it? Who is Allison? Allison, she's a, the, the head writer, writer, right? Yes, okay. from Clatter.com. But we, I, we haven't met her face to face at any time. Grant Chester is a they solved it. It, yeah. it. It's a priest and a vicar. And a cop, and they team up and they solve crimes on a weekly basis. Wow, Ooh, it's kind of well, like bones probably, or castle. We need yeah. to see what is happening with her love life because yes. uh, she literally has the same exact taste in television as David Griffin. It's pretty. It's, she's tall, just like you. Maybe I've never met her before. She's lovely. She came out here for a big. We need to have her on the show, so. Allison. And, fly and out from Atlanta. Atlanta. Come on the show. Yes, oh, she does. Perfect. Allison, we got to get you out here to LA to come on Clutter. Thank TV you for talk. your recommendations. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. fantastic awesome. recommendations. Listen, I, I I know you think that you I put in Queen Elizabeth for the crown because I loved right. Claire Foy's I, portrayal I, of Queen Elizabeth. I love Claire Foy's no, portrayal, but Princess Margaret, I prefer <laughs> little sass, yeah. little feistiness. You like that? I little, like a little sass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you put in Queen Elizabeth. I put in Queen Elizabeth you and then start failed the worst. to be fair. <laughs> I love how these like, these awesome thoughts come to your head and then you add all these nominees and you don't even vote. I vote for him. Yeah. I, I think I may have ruined this entire entire category. Yeah, Fleabag, that's too much drama there. Lot Actually, of drama. She's got some issues. Yeah. I love Jane the Virgin, but again, did not vote for her. Mm. Uh, Lagatha is one powerful woman. Oh, she man. is incredible. I one time drank a beer with her before she became famous. I, I interviewed her. I interviewed her when she was famous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, who on here would uh is is you know, I, I see where your votes are. <laughs> but what, what do you what, who's who's on there that you love? Sinead? Well, I mean, there's literally no point because um, this there's a clear winner here that when you added up all the ten, everyone there is no other way anyone yeah. else could have won this. I one. may or may not have rigged this you, one. You you put all your votes into one basket, uh-huh. but I I respect that because yep. at the end of the day, it's quite it was obvious who the winner was going to yes. be here. Um, but man, to friends I or character I'd like most like to marry. You know, if I was into girls, I would go with Jane from. Jane the Virgin. Yeah. Also, if I was into girls, um, I would go with Queen Elizabeth too. There like, you, go. you know, 
And I don't know. Tyler Hecklin, that super dunk. Not, I don't know. Uh, I didn't listen to any guys. Maybe she listened to some guys. Yeah. <laughs> Shade really bombed on her on her nominations in here. Not even in person from. Well, look at the voting. Oh, no. uh, Luke Cage did really well. Yeah, a lot of votes for Luke Cage. I, yeah. I'd, hell, I'd marry Luke Cage. A lot of votes for super dunk. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, very close voting, but again, I think I rigged it. So, the champion, the one that. We'd all like to marry the golden remote character you most like to marry, the mother of dragons herself. Khaleesi, thank you. Congratulations. I know you're on set <laughs> shooting. Yeah. She's not happy. She was not happy. <laughs> Can you throw that back up the run? Yep, she's not happy. She, oh, she won the golden remote. She Again, we will be accepting on her behalf. Congratulations to the mother of dragons. She she's a on fight. a ship. Yeah. She's on her way to Westeros shooting the next season of Game of Thrones. Spoiler. Again, congratulations. <laughs> Guys, uh, what we will do too after this, uh, golden in the golden remote, in the description below, you'll see the breakdown of all the votes and how we all voted for uh, the characters and the winners of all this stuff. So here we go. The second to last category, most emotional moments, golden remotes. This is, these are the tearjerker moments. These are the ones when Josh gets caught crying alone in bed at three in the morning whilst watching television. put a television. spoiler alert on the moments? Yeah, maybe we throw some spoiler alert. Listen, the most emotional moment, it might be a little bit of a spoiler. Maybe, might yeah, be. Yeah, no, might no, be. Yeah. All right, uh, well, Sinead, why don't you start us off? Um, Jack Stone puts on closed-toed shoes for the first time. That's in the night of. Mm-hmm. Um, Hold the door from Game of Thrones. Um, Khaleesi burns the Dothrakis. Dothrakis. Dothrakis from Game of Thrones. Um, and a moment from Rectify. Daniel finally gets a friend. Man, I was well, the moment when hard. David and Josh both cried. Whoa. Yeah. Man, I, I was bawling like a baby. Uh, Chuck McGill double crosses Jimmy McGill at the end of uh, the season finale there of, of Better Call Saul. Again, spoiler alert. Rick Grimes and Michonne finally uh, the Rishone moment mm-hmm. that, that we kind of been waiting for. And now they're 100 percent in love. Uh, Kelly and Yorkie, uh, that final moment there. Black Black Mirror's San Junipero. David, take it. Elizabeth and Philip kiss after near poisoning death. The Americans. William and Dolores on the train. Westworld. Teddy asking Tawny for a divorce. Tawny. Tawny. Unrectify. All emotional moments. And I think... And that, was, if, oh, that was a good one, too. I know. Good pick, Allison. Way to go, Allison. Wow. Allison really doing her work here. Mm-hmm. That's, what you, that's why you hire writers. That's and true. They, yeah, they, that's true. They are great. Uh, this, this... I personally, I loved the Jack Stone puts the clothed toe shoes on for the first time because... Yeah. I don't know what that is like, but I can imagine later in life if you get a, something that you just can't control, especially something that's so visual as mm-hmm. skin problems, how difficult that must be. And to always wear sandals when you're a lawyer and you have to go into court and people judge you for that. Like, and John Turturro's performance in The Night Of, just probably his best ever yeah. that I've seen for sure. What do you think there, Sinead? What were some of your favorites? Um, what are you going to off, of, off, of, uh, off of the list we have here, right? Yes. You didn't, wait, you, didn't, you didn't add any in there, Sinead, so I can't I be in it. trouble for this. Um, no. Uh, I don't know, man. I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I guess, Do you want like, us to go to David? And yeah, I'm like looking at this list. This is hard it's for all me. good. This yeah. is hard for me because a lot of these big, powerful moments are from shows I did not watch. Yeah. Yeah. So as we're voting on all of these things and I'm seeing like all of this stuff pop up on our list of nominees, all, all, all I could really think was, I have a crap ton of TV <laughs> to catch up on, okay? I don't know what half of these things mean, and it's very, very upsetting. David I mean, Griffin. point out, both of these rectify moments. Yeah. I mean, I, I forgot about the whole divorce thing. That's a powerful <laughs> moment. Man. Like, just the way they portray relationships on that show. So yeah. well, the acting, again, so well. We talked about this before. Um, Kelly and Yorkie, Black Mirror. Yeah. San Junipero, my favorite episode. There's yeah, the chemistry that, between those two actresses was man, just awesome. So, yeah, fantastic. Was great. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I think everybody knows this was a, a total runaway. Everybody put their vote in for Hold the Door. Poor Hodor, one of everybody's Hold favorites. The door. He's Hold a he's a DJ now. Uh, after he performed he, at Comic Con. Yeah, he performed at Comic Con. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, a passionate moment. Um, an emotional moment. I think it broke Twitter. That night, it, uh, the, the, the hold the door moment. Congratulations, Hodor. It's unfortunate that it's such a sad moment, but you did win the Slow golden cap. remote. Slow so it's, it's, a, it's a consolation prize. Okay, our final category in the golden remotes. You have best fight scene. Uh, hold on. I don't want to. Yeah, okay. Best fight scene. What? Sorry, hold on. You'll see. Okay. Uh, 
Let's right. let's start it off here, oh. Sinead. Best fight scene. All right, um, Negan bashing some skulls. Yeah. On The Walking Dead. I know a lot of people. Uh, like the it. final fight on the roof. Um, the CW from crossover. The CW crossover. Yeah. Um, then just the entire crossover event. Sure. I um, think that actually got combined. So let's here. Whoops, Daisy. That's my bad. <laughs> You know what? Hey, Cody, can you edit this? We'll edit come from the top. All right. And welcome back to the Golden Remotes. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Let's start it over. Best fight scene. All right. Sinead, go. Um, Negan bashing some skulls on The Walking Dead. Beautiful. The final fight on the roof from the epic CW crossover. Nailed it. And uh, Luke Cage lighting up Harlem with the car door from Luke Cage. With bring the ruckus. Bring the ruckus. <laughs> uh, you have the stairwell scene in Daredevil season two. You have the Battle of the Bastards from Game of Thrones. David Griffin, finish me up. Daisy fights her way out of prison, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and Banshee final season, Carrie and a flamethrower. Yeah, Ooh, man. Our first and only <laughs> Banshee mention, even our year in review and our, uh, our in the Golden Remotes. But, man, that Banshee series finale, that is some great TV. If you guys want to see some just passionate fights, sex, it, Banshee has it all. It is that that show is complete. Check it out, Cinemax. Uh, that 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 was some unbelievably good fight season. That final season. I had to put it in there to talk about it because I for, I forgot to put it. It's my fault. Uh, <laughs> Star Wars Rebels had one of the best confrontations of the year <clears throat> in uh, Ahsoka versus Darth Vader. Oh, and that was a powerful moment uh, for Star Wars fans. Uh, I know Rogue One's out right now, so I'm sure a lot of you've seen that. But that was just such a cool moment uh, on Disney XD. Boom. A lot, on here. a lot of good moments yeah, on here. Yeah, I mean, like, maybe even, I don't know if this, like, totally qualifies as, like, a kind of, but the, one of the final <laughs> scenes in Westworld where oh, yeah. the, um, where um, Maeve recruits her robot friends and they take down yeah. some of those people, including the guy who she like bites his also finger like the, off. The, the, also the man man in black and Dolores yes. in the church. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. some great fight scenes yeah. in Westworld. Probably the some of the highlights for me. So uh, Josh, did you put uh, Negan in there and the I no did. votes? I did. Oh, I did. I, I nominated Negan David, Bash in David, schools. David, yeah. yeah, I've done that a few times in this list because <laughs> I sent this e uh, document out to you guys and nobody was helping me out for a few days and I was feeling really uh, bad about myself. So I just started throwing in my own nominees. <laughs> How about that? Y'all can. No, I think as much as everybody hated some parts of that, Negan mm. Bash in the Skulls, we, we waited an entire year for it. Yeah. And we got it and it paid off. I mean, the Glenn the Glenn scene alone. Woo! Negan. And I'll tell you what, he has not let yeah. up I did these watch eight episodes. Like this. Yeah, yeah. But there were a couple times where I literally, I do this thing where I watch the corner of the TV so I can just see it out of the corner, like, you know? Yeah. So it's all happening right here, but I'm mm. looking right here. Okay. Um, For a full television to, watching? Yeah, I had to do that a couple times yeah. during, uh, during Walking <laughs> Makes Dead. Makes sense. Mm. David Griff? Yeah, I'm going to stick with Banshee. Okay. Yeah, some uh, all the time, always Banshee. Uh, also, two, Luke Cage. Bring yeah. the ruckus. Uh, Luke Cage, bring the ruckus. Sure. That, that yeah. Luke Cage, I mean, that was the trailer. It was yeah. incredible. We, got to, we should give credit to Daredevil. Yes. That's two years in a row done these really Oof. awesome one takes. So it's just incredible fight choreography. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and we can't wait to see what they do with Iron Fist. My yes. goodness. But the obviously, again, clear winner, uh, two time winner of the Golden Remotes on the same episode. Battle of the Bastards. Uh, I mean, look at that aerial shot there. Just unbelievable cinematography. Mm. Acting, the action, everything just, it felt like you were in a fight. There aren't many movies or TV shows where you'd be like, I, that, I felt you know like how I was claustrophobic that scene oh, was too when John was just like yeah oh man yeah. Battle of the Bastards congratulations your second golden remote of the night Atlanta with two golden remotes Battle of the Bastards with two golden remotes they are going to be having some fun at the after party it's at the Barney's Beanery across the street we'll black out it'll be fun okay <laughs> I love that our after party for the golden remotes said Barney's Beanery it's, it's, it's the greatest it's the greatest bar in the world <laughs> we all know that okay our final category everybody's favorite category it's the bronze book worst new show of 20 2016. Let's break down the nominees. Sorry, the bronze book isn't as bronze as we would have liked. It's sort of like a goldish burnt toast. Kind of looks like a football. Like an orange. Yeah, it's, little, <laughs> it's like a sparkling orange. Couldn't find a good bronze paint at the Home Depot. Uh, maybe next year I'll repaint the book for you guys. It's, it's kind of bronze. <laughs> yeah, we got. Uh, let's give a round of applause for Josh for his arts and crafts. I literally, I was, applause, like, yeah. Thank I was you. like, Cody, what is Josh doing? Because I saw him walking back and forth outside. He's like, uh, he is spray painting. And I was like, oh, all right. Literally yeah. like three seconds before. Three the seconds before the camera started like, David, rolling. David, it's a little bit wet. Be careful if you touch it. Don't touch it. Yeah. We're, we're going to leave that up here for a while. Uh, so final, our final, the bronze book. Let's rack up the nominees. Go ahead, Sinead. All right. So uh, starting off, we have a good behavior. Mm -hmm. Vinyl. Mm -hmm. I love dick. <laughs> <laughs> Feed the beast. Good girls revolt. One Mississippi. Kevin can't. 
Kevin can wait in Man with a Plan. So uh, those were I. I wanted to throw Westworld in there, but nobody would let me. Burn, kidding, Whoa. kidding, kidding. I would not. I'm totally joking, <laughs> sort of. Uh, so obviously there are some ones when we did the pilot review for Good Behavior. That's when I was going to suspend you from the show for a week because you recommended us doing the pilot review of that so I, I didn't bad. Know what it was going to be? Would you? <laughs> you and Amanda, I assume, are still but, watching. No, I'm, I I deleted it off the DVR. I, so th- 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 this vinyl selection, I wanted to put like plus ten. Oh. In the other direction. See, David defends his final, final. and worst new show. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say um, that I really disagree with this winner. Really? But at the same time, oh, that's also right. yeah. the only show I've watched on this list. Okay. Which, well. I mean, maybe just means I have really great taste in television. It's <laughs> true. You avoided um, all this. And here's yeah, the funny thing is we've never seen, we haven't seen the entire series. We've just seen the pilot of our winner of the bronze book. Which is, I love dick. <laughs> I feel like we're just asking people, so like, we're asking people to cut like videos of us just saying that yeah. like, to the camera. So congratulations to I love dick. You won the bronze book. Uh, you, you were absolutely horrendous. I can't believe that Amazon <laughs> greenlit it. I love Kevin Bacon. I love Catherine Hahn. I hope that this show is, I just I could not do it. I've, I voted a lot for good behavior, but I love dick. Our clear winner of Whatever, the dude. bronze book. Whatever, dude. I liked book. it. I love dick. <laughs> Sinead loved dick. Uh, we hated dick. Unfortunately, uh, for you, for I love Dick, uh. it won the bronze book, and I'm pretty sure Amazon has uh, cut all our ties. <laughs> yeah, we are have no hookups with I Amazon. Am, I'm still rooting for you, Amazon. I love. We love, love everything it. else you've done. John Van Johnson, Johnson is the greatest movie that we will see in 2017. I can't wait for Man in the High Castle season two. There we go. Well, that is it. That's our golden remotes, our bronze book. What a year it's been, 2016. I. Just, I got to tell you guys, uh, a lot the pleasure all on this side of the table, talking about TV talk for all of you with Sinead DeFries, David Griffin, Sasha Pearl Raver. We have uh, an amazing time together, and I hope that you guys know that when we put on the show, we, we do it for you, and we just... We love that you watch it. We love that you care about TV just like we do. And we love that you love that are, you are as passionate about TV mm-hmm. as we are. And that's why we did the Golden Remotes. Yeah. Also, big thank you to like everyone who stepped in and helped out throughout the year. Yeah. Uh, Wendy and Perry. Um, Roxy, uh, Emma yeah, Fife. Uh, totally. Jason Inman. Jason Inman. Just people who. Uh, who um, your girlfriend, the girl that you really like. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Al- uh, Allison Warner? No. Uh, Kara. Kara, Kara, Kara Warner. Warner. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was I'm, great. Still, I'm yeah. still on yeah. Allison. I was like. Uh, was, yeah, <laughs> Carol yeah. Warner. Um, uh, hopefully, Allison. Yeah, Allison and David. I think this is a love. Uh, it's, this is, this Allison's could, never going to talk. She's going to be so weirded out. It's like, <laughs> David, can you not talk about me He's on TV like, talk why, anymore? Why, <laughs> have been, why, like, why know, are these random people like, never met face to face? Um, also, too, uh, you know, we're going to talk about this when we come back, of course, which will be on uh, January, you know, 3rd. January 3rd. Um, but let us know like what you're excited to see in 2017. We're yeah. going to show you what our thoughts. I mean, when we come back, we will be talking about Sherlock season yeah. four premiere, and series four, as they say in the UK. Series, series four. four, and we will definitely uh, the January third show. We will preview a lot mm-hmm. of what we're looking forward to in 2017. In place of the highs and lows, we will do a full 27 preview with release dates and things that we're super excited about. So look forward to that. Hashtag at Collider TV Talk. Let us know what you thought of the Golden Remotes. Let us know what your nominees are, what some of your winners would be. I hope that you like what we did here because we sure had a great time doing it. Before we get out of here, Sinead DeFries, where can the good people find you? I'm online at Sinead DeFries and at that's so Sinead.com. I'm here on Mondays hosting TV Talk, on Fridays hosting Movie Talk, and hosting Mailbag over the weekend um happy new year david hw griffin the third esquire esquire dds junior the third uh yeah. you can find me over the holidays on twitter and instagram at griffin de just stoked about the new year can't wait for this exciting new television to come back one of those shows that's coming back is star wars rebels it'll Ooh. be back in january so i'll be reviewing that here on clutter video and of course every monday here with these wonderful people i can't say it enough happy new year we love having you guys watch this show we love doing it and cannot wait for 2017. I'm Josh McCuga at Josh McCuga on Twitter and Instagram. The Josh McCuga Show on YouTube every Monday here on Collider TV Talk. Big things planned for 2017. So stay tuned right here at Collider Video. Happy New Year. As always, put down the book. Put down the book. Pick up the remote. The Golden Remote. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.